Hello and welcome to Buildings of Tomorrow. My name is John Lester and in today's episode, we are talking about cybersecurity certification. I'm really excited to be joined today by Nadia Patricia Stefan. She is the Global Head of Cybersecurity Certification at Siemens Smart Infrastructure. Nadia, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, John. Thank you very much for the invitation. Great to be here. I'm very happy to be here. So uh, we're, we're really excited to have you and, and really excited to talk about this topic because Cybersecurity is something over the last uh, 10 years, especially in our industry, in the building industry, the infrastructure industry, has been growing and growing in importance. And, and certification is such an important part of this process for, un for us to understand what we're looking at, how we achieve things, etc. And that's where I'd like to start with you today. When we talk about cybersecurity certification, what do we mean? What does this mean for us? Well, you're right, the figure certification is very important to the last year. So certification for cybersecurity, that means the companies, they need to meet requirements, security requirements for products. And this requirement is to be already included during the development process of the product. Yeah. Um, when this is included in the product, this requirement, they need to be uh, proof by such kind of audit or assessment mm -hmm. and yep. then the proof of this audit is a certification it's a certificate yeah it's like you say uh, a company can say have a secure product but without a proof you cannot uh, tell the people okay my product is secure so you need a proof uh, this is a certification it's a security. and that's certification for us this is the proof that against an industry standard, against a, a, a set uh, list of criteria, that company, that product has fulfilled the expectations, which gives somehow gives uh, customers confidence and understanding. Is that is that a reasonable summary? Exactly, exactly. The certification gives the people trust, so mm -hmm. and and they're reliable. That the product is secure. So like you are sitting in a car. And you need to be secure. The car is secure. So otherwise you will have an accident or something can happen. It's the same. So it, 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 it depends on trust. It has to be with trust. Perfect. And uh, also quality. Quite a very important uh, point here. Because if the companies, they have a quality standard and a quality management system, and also they have an information security management system, they also are introducing security in their products and in their processes. Yeah. Understand. So, so cybersecurity certification gives us an industry standard, gives us a, a benchmark to measure against, uh, and that can help our customers. That can help uh, anyone there in the industry understand, build that trust, and have confidence uh, in in some of the topics, the products, the solutions that they're looking at. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Th that's really important for me, I think, because because understanding why is a great first step. Now let's, if we dive into our industry a bit more specifically, and when I talk about our industry, I talk about, you know, infrastructure, buildings, uh, this kind of thing, uh, even even some of different manufacturing and that kind of stuff. When we talk about certifications, what are the certifications that are, or the certification that's important for us? Okay, we're talking about here industrial certification, that is the IAC 62443. Mm -hmm. The certification for control systems, uh, you know, in every industry product is a control system, is, is a system inside. Uh, and, uh, you know, we are in the, in the world of uh, industry of things, internet, industry of things, so IoT. And then uh, all products that are connected with the internet. Mm -hmm. They are connecting with the whole environment, with the digitalization world, transformation world now. So they need to meet these requirements for the IC2443. Right. Yeah. So IC62443 uh -huh. is that focused. Now, can you give me a summary? I know it's it's extremely difficult to summarize a certification because there's so much below it. But but can you can you give us an idea of what of what that means for a control system in this scope? Okay, uh, that means um, all components inside a product, they have uh, different kind of functionalities. Mm -hmm. And these functionalities, they are linked also with security requirements in the standard. So the security right. requirements, they need to be met by every for the functionalities and also by every of the components. Yeah? And if you want to certify a product, then you need to go through these requirements, to these components, to the functionalities, and try to to meet every security requirement inside of the product. 
so I, like I a, can imagine that brings with it a challenge uh, to 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 meet an overall product requirement plus all of these individual component requirements. That that's a, a complex process to go through. Yeah, it's a complex process. So normally, security needs to be linked and uh, built from the beginning. It is security by design. So right. if the product or the company is going to be developed from this development, security needs to be considered. It's a very fundamental point and very fundamental, very important point here uh, because you cannot consider security at the end because at the end it's a pro already finished and you need to, to make a lot of a lot of changes, a lot of in, in, uh, invest money because of okay, changes mm -hmm. in the product and the components in the functionality. It's a lot of... Uh, of uh, development changes and it's, it's a lot of resources you need to employ for the reason it needs to be included from the beginning in the development phase right so so you mentioned there security by design so starting in that development phase and i think for a lot of of people out there especially uh, when we talk about certification and, and when i think about certification often i think about uh, you know communication protocol certification btl listing this kind of stuff and, and many of these certifications are done after you've completed the product and that's not the case here you no. you need to do it from from day one before you do it and and, and what does that mean so it, in in functional terms how how do you go about that process of, of of verifying and testing that functionality and that requirement through the entire development phase um well um you just first you have a plan of mm -hmm. your entire product for the development, there is a in the IC two four four three. There is a secure development life cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a part of the uh, of the standard, and uh, there is a is a whole plan. It's a it's a whole set of requirements of practices you need to start mm -hmm. cover one by one. So you, you need to have a, a, a project team in uh, in the company, and uh, uh, set uh, by one one this uh, start from these requirements. And uh, when you feel that you have already uh, done all tests, all these requirements, you can proceed to contact um, 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 a creditable and a serious uh, certification body, for example, mm -hmm. TUFSUT. Yeah. Yep. And there uh, you can start with them. Uh, normally, they are also um, uh, offering um, gap analysis or a pre assessment. And pre-assessment means that they are going with you or with the company together and they are looking the requirement by requirement. They are also identifying gaps uh, in front before the certification this is very important. If the company already or the, or the, the products are already known which gaps they do, do they have before mm -hmm. the certification starts. Understand. So, yeah. so you mentioned Tiv Sud there, and that description of how involved they are through the process, this gap analysis, that's an extremely important relationship. But uh, this is not just a, a test and, and tick uh, process. How how closely does that relationship between, you know, in your example, working uh, on, on products with Siemens and working with Tiv Sud, how, how close is that relationship and how important is that collaboration throughout the certification process? It's very important uh, because uh, uh, it's, it's trust. So uh, security is trust. And if you are going to certification, you also have trust with your partners and with your customers. Mm -hmm. So uh, that means um, um, you need to show your processes, show your what are you doing, uh, what are your requirements, and they're going with you through the process and and uh, being your partner during the certification. Yeah, and, and 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 this secure by design makes that more and more important. Uh, the, that collaboration, that process. Now, of course, you you, you described. So we've talked about IEC six two four four three. You described the the process, this secure by design. So not just at the end, but throughout the whole process, the importance of the collaboration with the certification body. Um, and at the start, you you introduced us to IC six two 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 four four three as a control system certification, mm -hmm. and and we have this as you mentioned. We're in IoT. We're in Industry four point Everything's connected to the internet. Uh, everything is 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 that's part of a system is somehow open to the world. So this becomes more and more important from from your own perspective. Um, 
how do you think we're we're going as an industry? How are we progressing along this journey to really uh, understand and leverage more this certification process and this certification expectation? Well, uh, from my point of view, my expertise, um, I think uh, the products needs to be uh, include security by design from the beginning. So, um, from my expertise, I also uh, so products they are include security at the end when people are saying, okay, uh, now we have security. Uh, it's an important thing, but it is not something you can let at the at the end. It's something that needs to be. Rethink from the beginning and plan from the beginning. Resources, costs, everything. Yeah. Right. So it's not good enough. Not good enough to stick some security <laughs> on at the end. It it should be this way. So so then, yeah. uh, if if I understand correctly, this this certification process just drives us to be better. This is an important part of of us achieving what we need to achieve from a security perspective. Yes, exactly. Another important thing is to have a serious partner from the side. Like yeah. just from tooth suit, because uh, if you go there with advance and ask uh, for a gap analysis or a, for a pre-assessment development phase, they will try to uh, to take you from the hand and to show the way to the certification. Yeah, understand. I uh, and and I think uh, so many of the the conversations we have on on, on this show and and in the industry as well that that partnership that collaboration that trust that you have and and when you describe this process you know from day one uh, you know defining the components the functionality of those components and doing gap analysis on where you need to take action uh, you you need complete trust here because you could uh, you don't want to wake up three years down your development train and, and realize that you missed something and have to go back and start again somehow so that collaboration that partnership is, is such an essential part it if I simplify my, my own simple approach, it sounds really difficult to, to achieve these certifications. Is is it hard? Well, uh, it is work. So, you know, nothing in life is easy. <laughs> okay. yeah. And if you also want to attach something, you want to achieve something in life, you need to work hard. You need to, to, uh, to invest time, to invest resources. And it's also a certification. So uh, you need to have, conform a team, invest resources in there. People need to also to invest time there because, okay, mm -hmm. people are not in the, in the, in the team. So in the company, people are not working 100% for certification. They have another, another position yeah. but uh you know it is just, uh like every target you have as is uh yes you need to invest time and work I, amazing but but if i understand from you and i love the passion is that it's worth it you know this is not something that's no, non that, that's for fun this is not a nice to have this is essential for us uh, as an industry and and, exactly. and and as trying to deploy these new technologies is that reasonable Exactly. This is something essential. It is you know, some security is a topic that is going developing every every year, year after year, it's developing more. So the uh, cyber attacks are coming uh, more uh, more bigger, more straight away. And also the attackers, they are developing themselves. Mm -hmm. So so they are not staying with the same knowledge, they are developing themselves. And so also companies and products that need to be developed also in the same way and the same almost in the same rooms of the attackers because products need to be in the same level of this this threats and uh, there are more vulnerabilities every year and the companies to develop their people also and this in the same way of this of this uh, attacks so I understand and a great way to to finish our, our conversation today nadia thank you so much to, it's such an important topic and it's not uh, important uh, today and the important tomorrow becomes more and more important every day every year and and that skill set and that understanding but then also topics like certification help us navigate that craziness right and i think this links back to what you said at the start certification helps us and enables us to have that trust and understanding to benchmark uh, and to compare uh, and it's the only thing that really gives us that independent understanding across different systems and different solutions Thank you very much, John. Thank you very much. It was a great, amazing experience being here with you. 
Thank you. Oh, it was an absolute pleasure. No, we, we appreciate your time so much. We appreciate your expertise, importantly, and I get the feeling that we have more to talk about. So while we finish here today, I can't wait to, to invite you back and talk more about cybersecurity. As you mentioned, there is nothing that's growing more and more in importance. So, so bring it on. I'm excited for that. But until then, thanks so much for your time. It was, it was great fun. Thank you very much. Also great to be here and uh, in the future. Thank you. Amazing. And a big thank you to everyone who is out there listening or watching us. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and also ensure that uh, whenever you're having conversations or thinking about topics like cybersecurity, keep your eye open as we're always uh, looking to find more conversations with experts like Nadia to understand the, the next developments, the, the, the market drivers that enable us as an industry to navigate this very complex and, and difficult landscape. Until then, uh, please keep out every two weeks or so for new episodes and we'll talk to you very soon. Thank you.